Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be going over a very big winter storm for portions of New England. Some areas could be picking up as much as 2 feet or more of snowfall and it's going to get fairly far to the south as well. Some areas along southern New England and then down through portions of uh, the interior mid-Atlantic could be getting some snowfall as well. And we're going to be giving you my personal snowfall forecast for this event as well as our boomer bust forecast which we've been premiering uh, quite a bit on the channel over the past couple of videos. Uh, today we're picking Boston, Massachusetts for that boomer bus forecast so you can check that out that's going to be at the end of the video and we're also going to be giving you your time by time forecast so we're going to go in six hour increments and give you my forecast as to where is that snow going to be where is that rain going to be where is that mix going to be uh, for the storm and we're going to also go over what the NAM 3K model is showing and what the European uh, high resolution model is also showing so Let's get right into it here, and let's start off with your current National Weather Service page. Uh, we currently have some winter storm watches from that storm up for portions of Maine, all of New Hampshire, some parts of Vermont, into uh, much of Massachusetts, and then into northeastern parts of Connecticut there. We also see, and I believe some of those are going to actually turn into winter storm warnings, especially throughout this region. Uh, the areas further to the south, maybe you'll get a winter weather advisory of some sort posted. We have wind advisories for portions of South Carolina and Georgia, as well as some winter weather advisories from another system, which is actually going to be moving up and then into this area, and then we'll have to see what happens here. You could see some snow if you live within this region. We'll talk about that most likely in tomorrow's video, but we have uh, winter weather advisories in southwestern Texas. We also have some freeze warnings in southwestern Arizona, as well as some hard freeze warnings in southwestern California, with some red flag warnings also in effect for southern California, and then we have some air quality alerts in effect for the northwestern United States. Now, here is what the NAM 3K model is showing, then we'll show you the European model, and then we'll get into my forecast, and I made a ton of graphics for today's video, so I hope you guys do like it. Probably the past, uh, the last four or five minutes of my video is just going to be me going over my graphics, so uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy the graphics. If you do want me to change anything within my maps, uh, definitely tell me down below, and I'll try to work on it. Also, if you want to personal forecast leave a comment down below and I'll answer all of your comments and I'll give you a personal forecast as to how much snowfall rainfall uh, and uh, when that snow and rain will start to occur for your area so this would be by tonight right around 7 p.m. now as we're getting to right around 10 p.m. here's by 1 a.m. Uh, we're seeing this frontal system uh, kind of a trough digging into parts of the northeast so we have this trough that's kind of set up somewhat like this so you have that cold air on that backside but notice that most of your precipitation is going to be rain to start off as you get down into the mid-Atlantic. Now, your trough is still uh, set up a little bit further to the north than this precipitation. So, it's going to be cold here. It's going to be below 32 degrees as you get north of the trough. But, you're not going to have any precipitation to make any snowfall. Now, what's going to happen is that this trough is slowly, slowly going to dive further to the south. And, this uh, precipitation is going to rapidly move up further to the north and to the east so that's going to combine over some area most likely in central or northern new england and when those two combine you have below 32 degree temperatures you have precipitation in the in the, in the atmosphere that's going to lead to some snowfall so uh let's see what the nam model does and the nam is a little bit colder than what i'm forecasting the european is a little bit warmer uh, but i think i agree with that one a little bit more so this would be by right around 1 a.m. tomorrow morning as we're getting to 4 a.m. Here's 7 a.m. Starting to see some uh, snowfall up for portions of Vermont there as well as some rain all along the coastal areas. And then for more of those higher elevations in Massachusetts, Connecticut, uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, you're starting to get into some of that snowfall. This would be by 10 a.m. Here's by 1 p.m. Uh, and I'll go back here. So we're all rain, but then notice what happens, and I'll play this forward, but first I want to draw in the trough. You have your trough still back here, but it's starting to make its way onto that northern edge of this. And what that's doing is that by the time that we get to 1 p.m., a lot of that has switched over to snowfall. So you're going to see maybe in the morning time a 37, 38 degree temperature, still too warm for snow. As you get to the afternoon hours, it will 
will cool down a little bit, uh, and maybe you get closer to 35, 34, and you start to see a little bit of snowfall. We'll show you your temperatures also a little bit later on in the video. Now, here would be by right around 4 p.m. Here's by 7 p.m., and now you're starting to see that colder wrap around on that back side into Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, maybe some of those areas picking up a decent, a decent accumulation, especially as you get into central and northern New England as you get a little bit away from the coast. Now, here would be uh, by right around 10 p.m., uh, uh, still on Saturday, and then here's by 1 a.m. on Sunday, we're looking at still a lot of that heavy snowfall for portions of Maine, New Hampshire, and eastern Massachusetts. And then that system really pulls away into Nova Scotia, eastern Quebec, and it's really only impacting portions of northern New England uh, by this point. You're seeing some scattered snow and rain showers, uh, mainly snow showers for portions of northern Maine and New Hampshire. And other than that, there's not a lot um, to deal with after you get past about Sunday early in the morning. Now, here's what the NAM 3 cam model shows for snowfall. Fall, and we're looking at maybe uh, in those uh, in those uh but purples, that's where you're 6 to 12 inches, 10 to 20 inches in the pinks, and as you get to the light pinks, that's 20 plus inches, and you see a lot of that 6 plus inch area for much of eastern New England as a whole. Now, I think this is a little bit too bullish from what the NAM model is showing, but it's definitely something that we have to keep in, in uh, consideration. It's definitely something that could happen. Now, Here's what the European model is showing. This is your high-resolution European model. We're dealing with snow showers up through portions of the Adirondacks, the Green and White Mountains, and you can clearly tell where your front is uh, or where your precipitation front is uh, down here. Your system is down here in portions of Virginia by this point. Uh, Virginia and then up through the coast, your low pressure is in Virginia, and that'll move up the coast. And then we're seeing your uh, trough digging into portions of the northeast, kind of like this, and to the north of there, you are dealing with uh, some uh, precipitation in the form of rain and snow showers and mostly snow for those higher elevations now as we're starting to move forward here we are, here would be by 10 p.m. on uh, Friday so 10 p.m. today and then as we're getting to uh, tomorrow around 1 a.m. that rain is still stalling out over portions of the coastal areas but then as we start to get to right around 4 a.m. here 7 a.m. Uh, and then here would be by uh, around 10 a.m. We're dealing with some of that mixing. Now, here are your temperatures by this point. So, uh, I'll go back here. Here's your precipitation. Here are your temperatures. You really don't see too many 32-degree temperatures except for those areas in the Green Mountains of Vermont and the Berkshires of western Massachusetts and then up into the Adirondacks and western upstate New York, western Pennsylvania, and into northernmost New England. You really don't see too many 32 or under temperatures. You see a lot of temperatures around 33, 35, 36. 36, 37 degrees and you probably want to be under 35 or 36 degrees in order to see some snowfall uh, so if I move this back actually uh, what you're seeing by this point uh, if I were to move this back you're seeing by this point that you're seeing uh, some mixing a lot of mixing uh, and that might be in the form of slush or sleet and kind of uh, some ice mixing in there as well but it's not gonna be a very nice it's gonna it's not gonna be a very nice powdery snow it's gonna be more of a fluffy type of snow so here are your temperatures again uh, by that same point Point. And then as we're moving through on Saturday, you're dealing with uh, more of that snow developing, uh, and that continues throughout the day on Saturday. Here would be uh, by right around 4 p.m. or so, uh, and then as we're going through into 7 p.m. Eastern Time, we're looking at some heavy snow for portions of eastern New England, and then as you get close to the coast, maybe more of a rain-snow mix, uh, a little bit more of that. Now, here are your temperatures by this point, and you can tell by the evening hours, they've, significant, uh, they've significantly cooled down by this point, uh, so portions of... New England and a lot of the areas that are seeing snowfall are now under 32 degrees, which means that it's probably going to be a lot fluffier uh, in terms of the consistency of the snow. Now, here would be by right around uh, 10 p.m. or so on uh, on Saturday, and then as we're getting to Sunday morning, here would be by 1 a.m., here's by 4 a.m., 7 a.m., 10 a.m., so it's, it's gradually going to move up further to the north, and then continuing to move through here would be by right around 2 p.m. Uh, or actually this would be right around 1 p.m., 4 p.m., 7 p.m., 10 p.m., and really nothing's really changing. You're seeing some gradual showers moving out of northern New England. Look at those snow totals, and yeah, we could be dealing with a couple areas getting over uh, 18 inches of snowfall, maybe even closer to 2 feet of snowfall in some areas, and this is just the regular snowfall. I do think in northern New England it'll be cold enough where you'll actually get probably a 12 to 1 ratio. 
Ontario, which will increase your snowfall totals a little bit more for those regions. Further to the south, I think those snow totals will be lower because it's going to be a little bit warmer. That usually means that the snow is denser and it doesn't accumulate as much. Now, here's your boomer bus forecast, then we'll get into my snowfall forecast. We're choosing Boston for today's video, uh, and my forecast is calling for 2 to 3 inches. That high end snowfall, if the NAM were to be correct, closer to 6 to 7 inches, probably uh, as you get a little bit away from the city, probably closer to 10 inches or snow, uh, of snow if that NAM is to be correct. But that low end snowfall, less than an inch maybe for the city proper, but as you get further to the west of there, maybe a little bit more. Now, here is the uh, here is the uh, rain snow type uh, or the uh, precipitation type forecast. Now this would be by tonight right around seven. Here's by tomorrow morning right around one. You start to see that front moving out through northern New England with those scattered showers, but it's that big area of heavier rainfall for portions of the Mid Atlantic that's really dominating your screen by this point. Here would be by seven a.m. Maybe some scattered rain and snow, lake effect showers, but mainly that system is moving up the coast. You can see that heavy rain and some snow starting to mix in by this point here's by 1 p.m. and you can see really a mess over central New England I tried to color in those valley areas uh, which can definitely be uh, those areas usually in the valleys is where you see most of that rain snow mix so I tried to color those in uh, and it does look a little bit sloppy so I do apologize for that but that's mainly due to the topography of the area we're dealing with heavier snow as you get further to the north and that heavy precipitation is of course going to be closer to that low pressure so by this point the heavy snows in southern New Hampshire but then as we go forward uh, to about 7 p.m. on Saturday, the heavy snow is mainly oriented over northern New England. The system's now moving into the eastern Gulf of Maine, uh, and it, as it's pulling away, here would be by Saturday at 1 a.m., mainly just snow and rain showers on that back end. Uh, and as we move through, uh, through here would be by 7 a.m. on Saturday, here's by 1 p.m., and it's mainly just snow showers. Now, here is my forecast for the snowfall totals, the total snowfall for this event. Uh, this is going from Friday through Sunday. Uh, and so today through Sunday, we're looking at under an inch of snowfall anywhere in this light blue. This includes much of New England, except for uh, portions of southeastern most New England. And then moving through portions of much of upstate New York into western Pennsylvania, parts of East Virginia, or uh, parts of uh, eastern West Virginia, into northern Ohio, northern Michigan, uh, and into northern Wisconsin, you guys are looking at under an inch of snowfall. So this is where I'm thinking you'll at least gonna get you're at least gonna get a coating or a dusting of snowfall. Here's your one to three inch area. This is where I think you could see some decent accumulations if you live within this area. Uh, and for portions of Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, up through much of northern New England, pretty much the entire state of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, looking at one to three inches of snowfall, and then also for those higher elevations in upstate New York and into the UP of Michigan, maybe you guys could also see close to an inch or two of snowfall. Now, Here's that three to six inch area, and that includes portions of Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and into Maine. Uh, that's where I'm looking at, again, three to six inches, probably closer to four or five inches in many of these areas. And then here's your six to 12 inch area, and I think that's going to be further east than what we were thinking yesterday, six to 12 inches of snowfall. Uh, so this is where I'm thinking at least six inches of snowfall, all for much of the state of New Hampshire, a little area in northeastern uh, Massachusetts, and a lot of Maine, uh, especially as you get just inland of the coast and as you get away from the eastern uh, coastal areas of Maine that's where I'm looking at 6 to 12 inches of snowfall 12 to 18 inches of snowfall for eastern New Hampshire and into western and northern Maine and then here's your 8 to 24 inch uh, 18 to 24 inch area and that includes portions of northern Maine uh, this is where you could get over a foot and a half and then some higher elevation areas in interior northern Maine could receive probably closer to 24 or 25 inches I don't think you'll get up to 30 inches but maybe a couple areas could get closer to two feet of snowfall out of this event so that's the first time i've ever used 24 to 36 inches if i'm not mistaken on one of my snowfall maps so this definitely goes to show you how big of a storm this can be for those inland areas of northern new england uh and i'll definitely probably by tomorrow's video we'll be talking about another snow system for the eastern united states so we're in a cold pattern doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon uh so that's good for those of you like snow it's not very good for those of you who don't like the snow and cold so uh, that is going to wrap it up for today's video please consider liking the video subscribing and turning on notifications and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye